Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Diamond Painting with Ruby Q. And tonight I'm going to show you how I seal my diamond paintings. So what I use is Mod Podge Gloss, water-based sealer, glue, and finish. Um, I know there's a lot of videos out there on how you can do this, but I wanted to show you how I do it. Uh, what I do is I use one part glue and one tablespoon water. And the reason I do this is because I still want it to have a thick consistency, but not too thick. And I also don't want it very watery. Um, so I have my glue. This one is two parts glue and two tablespoons water. I got my wet cloth. Uh, I use a wet napkin and I'll show you why later. And then I use a dry napkin and my roller. So I can make sure all my diamonds are in place, not popping up, and I have my brush. I got this on Amazon as a set of like 20 brushes, and this is the biggest one that came in that set, so this is what I use. All right, so let's get into doing this. Hope you guys are having a good night. Um, I'm just going to let you know that I am so happy because I finally found something that works for me, and I just did... A DAC painting and it still looks very shiny and I will show you why in just a second and yes my children like Medea was said they're here they're in a living room they're watching uh, gumball and my four-month-old is talking away so if you hear him yes that is the baby and I might be pausing it here and there it'll be like a second for you but like an eternity for me okay so let's make sure that all these drills are in place. Also, another thing that I do, which I have already done, is that I get my light pad, like at night, you know, since I'm doing this at night, I get my, my light pad and I check to see if I have any drills missing. Because you know how much it would suck for you to like lay down your glue and then find out that you're missing a drill? It's like, oh, Oh, no, you know, you have to like super glue it on or something. No one has time for that. Okay So what you do is you get your light pad you put it underneath your painting before you start applying your glue Just to make sure that there is no drills missing and if it's during the daylight What I do is I just put it like I hang it Next to my window so that the sunlight can be showing through it and that will also work Okay, so what I like to do is I like to get my washcloth and just kind of, you know, just kind of clean it because it's been, you know, it's been in my room and it gets dusty and we don't want none of that stuff on there. You know, my deck one had like a piece of my hair on it and I had to like pull it off with tweezers because I wasn't even paying attention. And also sometimes if you see like your diamonds are like. You can see the um, training wheels. You could just, you know, fix it a little bit. Like I could see my training wheels right here. Nobody wants to see that. Okay, it's not a big deal. But if you want to be very precise, then you can do that. Um, so let's get to it. Let's do this top right here. Okay. So I got my glue. I'm going to dip it in a little bit. And I'm just going to brush I'm not gonna I'm not in a rush you know and I do I do do sections at a time and the reasons that I do sections at a time like little sections at a time is because I don't want it, it believe it or not it does dry really fast and I'm not talking about like it dries like a hard finish but it dries enough where it starts cracking if that makes any sense so like if I'm you know if I'm doing like a big section and like I'm cleaning it off and then like it just I don't know I just feel like it doesn't it just doesn't work for me <laughs> so I do little sections at a time so that I could get every crease and all that good jazz whatever so I kind of like tap so I know that it's getting in the creases Michael what's going on babe he is very fussy today. He's such a fussy baby and he's not even teething yet. All right. So, real quick. 
kind of just wipe. You see the glue? That's the top. It's not taking off any, as you can see, it's not taking any of the glue. One second. <laughs> All right, and I'm back. <laughs> as you can see, it's not taking any of the glue in the creases. It's just taking the glue off of the top. So, kind of flip it so I don't have to be rinsing it, rinsing it all the time. And I kind of just tap it. And the reason I don't really go like that is because I don't want it to move from the creases because sometimes it gets in between the cloth, you know? You don't want that. You, you want it to be all the way in there. Just tap it. And then when I'm done, I get my wet napkin and I kind of just rub it. And what this does is if there's any suds on top of your drills, it'll take it off. And then I kind of just tap it with a dry one. You gotta make sure it's a little bit wet on top. Otherwise, obviously, it's gonna the um, dry. It was a dry napkin. It will stick a little bit to the top, and you don't want that. So, you want to make sure that it's wet, and you just kind of tap, and that prevents suds. Like in my opinion, I mean, I've done, I've been doing this, and it works for me. And afterwards, it it looks really shiny. And as you can see, it looks shiny even now. Like. See, so it's all in there already. I'm gonna pause it so I can wash this and then I'll be back and I'll do a larger section with you guys. Okay, I am back. I rinsed my cloth. Now let's do another section. So again, I kind of overlap a little bit of the section that I have already done. Again, I try to tap, tap, tap so that it gets in those creases. Oops. Okay. I was really scared, guys. I was really scared to seal my diamond paintings because I've heard stories where people seal them and usually Mod Podge, you know, it's translucent afterwards, but it would take the shine away. And I was like, no, <laughs> I don't wanna do that. The whole point of diamond painting, you know, the whole thing is that it's shiny. It's a shining, shiny piece of art. And you know, it takes a long time for you to finish a piece just so that it doesn't shine afterwards. Uh, no. So I did more research, I watched more videos. And uh, yeah, so like I know that this is uh, perfect when I run it through and it's kind of like thick. So this is ready. And all I do I get my cloth and I wipe it, okay? You see that layer? And I get it again and I wipe it again, okay? So then, so that I don't have to uh, rinse it again, get it and I tap, tap, tap. Just tap away. Let me see if I can show you what I'm talking about when I say that it's very sudsy on top. So do you see those white marks right there? Like those uh, water marks, okay? They're glue marks on top of the diamonds. You don't want that because that will stick on top and it'll take the shine away. That's what I was trying to talk about. Well, that's what I was talking about earlier. So I get my, my cloth again, or my uh, napkin, my wet napkin. And I kind of tap, take those spots off, okay? And then I get my dry one, 
and I just tap. And what this does, it takes those marks away. And I will show you what I mean. So do you see? They are gone. And if you still see a little bit of them, um, you just rinse this. You don't have to do it with this because this one has more of the glue than your napkin does. So I'm gonna, real quick, while this is rolling, wash my napkin. And I'm going to just go over it one more time. Just to make sure that I got everything. And I will take my dry napkin and also tap. Okay. So now there should not be anything on there, just in between. Okay, so. I'm gonna do it one more time on camera and then I'm going to just continue doing the rest and filming it. It's gonna, uh, I'm gonna like fast forward it. And then I'm gonna show you the DAC painting that I did. So, and I haven't even showed you that painting actually. I haven't showed you um, that painting that I did. It's very beautiful. It's like, I think it's called Floral Delight and it's, the first, oh no, okay, no, lies. That's the second DAC round painting that I have done. And it's so beautiful. I enjoyed working on that. And I think I love it mostly because I was, I started it when I was pregnant. And I finished it after I had my baby already. It was like, I think my baby was two weeks when I had finished it. So I think it just kind of, it's like a memory. You know, every time I look at it, I think about that. And um, it's just very, very beautiful and so, so, so pink. It was like the first big painting that I ever did. And to be honest, guys, I've only been doing this for a couple months. I haven't, months. I haven't even been doing this for a long time. So I'm going to, I'm like, I have like OCD. So like the lines have to be straight, guys. If not. I don't like it. <laughs> Are you guys OCD too? Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do this until it's like a thick consistency because when I lay it down, it's kind of liquidy. Okay, so that is done. I'm going to rinse this real quick. That's fine how it is. Okay. Well, let's do this. See the glue? More glue. No glue. <laughs> glue. No glue. Glue. Now I'm going to flip it over. No glue. Glue. Okay, there we go. That's it. Now, okay, so you see how, do you see how this right here is, uh, it's not dry, okay, but it's getting there. You see how shiny it still is? You see that? It's like right there, right? It's not a big enough piece for me to show you how shiny it is, but you can tell right there that the shine has not left the building. I repeat, it has not left the building. Let's get our dry one. Tap, tap, tap. Okay, I'm gonna go rinse this again and go over it one more time.
And yes, you know, this might be a, a little bit, it might be a little bit extra, okay? But being extra is okay, guys, all right? It's all right, not a big deal. Okay, let's go over it like this. And we are done with this. So let's take a look. Nope, nothing there. So, oops, whoops. Okay, so as you can see, we started off this little section right here, and then we went a little bigger, and this is um, kind of drying, and then we just did this section. And I'm just gonna keep doing sections at a time. Um, when I'm finished, I will be back, and I'll put this aside, and I'll bring out my deck. I will be back.
the DAC one that I just did earlier today. It is a little bit dry now, but do you see how it's still shiny, guys? Do you see that shine? It didn't go away. It did not go away at all. I mean, it's still there. I'm gonna take you off my handy dandy phone thingy so I can show you the whole image and I'll be back. Okay, so this is the DAC Flower Delight that I had done a while back. And it is still very, very, very like so shimmery. Um, it didn't take any of the shine away using my technique. Of course, the lighting kind of sucks in my kitchen, but you see, and then these right here are AB. Let's try to take a look at the creases real quick to see, like, okay. So as you can see, you can see a little bit of the glue, the Mod Podge, in between the drills, but not on top of the drills. Um, I might have to do one more layer just because I want to be safe. And if I do that, I will let you know um, how that works out. But yeah, guys, this is pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna pause it and I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm back. And I also wanted to show you this one that I sealed as well. I will be doing a post review on this. Um, this is already dry since I did this yesterday and it is very, very stiff, but I am going to do a second layer just to be safe. Um, let's take a closer look. So you can see the glue in between the drills it did its job. I'm not going to do a thick layer on this one. I'm going to do a thinner layer on this one. But I also use the same technique. And it is still very, very shimmery, guys. So let me know what you guys think of my technique. Let me know if you're going to try it out. If you do, give me a shout out. You guys don't have to. But it would make me smile. Because <laughs> then I know I helped you guys. Um... But yes, I hope you guys have a good night. This was tonight's video, and I hope that it was very helpful for you guys. You guys are the best, as always. Thank you for watching my videos. If you're subscribed, thank you for being subscribed to me. Um, thank you for the likes. You don't have to like my videos, but when you do, it puts a big smile on my face. Um, if you're not already subscribed, subscribe. I put up all types of videos. Um, that's it for tonight, guys. Have a good night. Bye.